the hard news, the, the tough news is, you know, going through the season and, uh, you know, experiencing a, a situation where you don't get to win a lot. But the good news is, uh, I think, like I've said many times to our, our fans and to our organization, it's presented great clarity to what we have to do. When we're in a total rebuild mode, we're going to uh, draft good people, we're going to develop good people. We've got a chance here in these next couple of years. Uh, obviously, with this first pick, we know we're going to bring an impact player. Uh, we know it uh, looks like that PRV Svensson is going to be a good player. Uh, it looks like Jordan Everly is going to be a good player. So there's there's the makings there of what we have, some of what we have and what's coming that I think people are going to be excited. I, I wanted to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each player uh, away from the rink, none of our staff around uh, when I got back from Sweden and just get to know them as people. And these are pressure situations. You've got a lot of people around. There's a lot of cameras. They're being interviewed by our staff. Or there's, you know, they're being filmed, and, and you get to see people react under pressure. So, um, yeah, you do learn different things. I am looking forward to our meetings in really? June. I really am, and I have purposely not tried to uh, state my opinion too much right. uh, to people because I, I, you know, they have worked so hard. They, they've prepared for the test. And uh, you have to let them go through that process. I, I'm, I'm dying to hear the, uh, them articulate why or why not. And on an individual basis and as a group, I'm looking forward to that.